I like reading about bugs and animals. I like to read Cat in the Hat. I like to pick animal books. I like reading about mysteries and adventures. I like reading Junie B. Jones. When you look at access to books, the numbers are staggering. Within middle-income communities, kids typically have access to 13 books, whereas in low-income communities, typically there's only one book for every 300 kids. One of the great things about this country is we are guaranteed access to a free and public education. And to me, that's not really complete if it doesn't include books. Everyone who goes to a school essentially has access to books in, in a library. But for the kids we serve, the kids from low-income families, they really don't at home. If you deny the kids the books, you're denying them the learning. You're denying them knowledge. You're denying them education. You're denying them all the things that we consider rights. With budget cuts, it's getting tougher for kids to have access to a lot of reading material. We have over 95% poverty rate in our school, and a lot of my kids will wear the same clothes every day. They don't have food at night, so they're more worried about how they're going to live day to day than reading a book. In these days, as is the economy, we don't have enough money to spend in books. And so at Book Trust, what we're really trying to do is combat that access challenge by getting books in the hands of kids who need them the most. Book Trust is about access, equity, and choice. We want to ensure kids have access to books who otherwise wouldn't have the ability to own books. Many of our families don't have books. Whenever it was conferences, I'm like, well, how can I help you at home? And they say, we need books that the kids can read. You hear a lot about the learning gap, especially over the summer. The kids lose a lot of ground over those months of the summer. That is what Book Trust really works to change, does a great job of changing, is that uh, the longer the kid participates, the bigger the home library. It's muy bueno porque dice así no los tengo que regresar y los puedo leer todas las veces que quiera. We do Star of the Week, and one of their things is bring a book from home. And every single book that's come back has been a scholastic book that they've gotten from Book Trust. Sí, le puedo decir que yo no, no tuve ningún libro. Habría uno o dos de cómicos, nada más, pero así como para la lectura, no por eso es que mi vocabulario es tan pobre. Yo pienso que es muy importante leer libros. Each time that you read a new book, there's words that you've never heard. You keep on adding a word to your vocabulary. Los libros que nos ayudan bastante, incluso a nosotros los padres también nos ayudan a involucrarnos en la lectura porque están los niños muy emocionados que el libro es nuevo, que ven para que lo leas conmigo y uno también aprende con los libros. Each month, Book Trust students get to buy $7 worth of books from Scholastic Book Club. Usually that's two to three books a month or 20 books over the course of the year. Beginning in kindergarten, we work with schools where there are high levels of poverty to provide children who otherwise wouldn't have the opportunity to choose and own books. When we started Book Trust with, you know, here is $7 of book buying value a month, what we found is the important parts of that experience were choice and ownership. Our focus is really to say, open that scholastic book catalog and find the thing that is most exciting to you, that's going to get you most energized. When I get my Scholastic Catalog, it's kind of hard to choose and it's also exciting to do. That's really what distinguishes us from so many other organizations that are providing access to books for children. I think it's important to choose what my books are because it's really, really what I like to do. When you get books, it feels exciting because you can write your names and take them home. They want those books, they want to read. Um, passing them out knowing they're gonna have these books probably for life. A lot of these books are gonna be in their families for a while. I get to have my dad read them for a bedtime story for my little baby sister and me and my other sisters. I read books to my little sister. When I'm at school, I like to read with my, my friends. I like reading with my older sister.
The day the books arrive is one of the most exciting days for them every month of the school year. Many of them describe it as Christmas in the classroom. I'm excited for their books. When you open the box, they all go over and peek right in the box. Like they want theirs to be on top. Are you guys excited? You know, it kind of makes me feel like Santa Claus a little bit, you know, because I'm delivering joy to the children. If they can learn to read well by third grade, they'll be prepared to make that critical pivot from learning to read to reading to learn. And as they get into the older grades, they have to know how to read to access the content that will be so critical for their success in school. What we believe is that we can help inspire that passion for reading early on so that kids develop the skills necessary to become good readers. Mi hijo no necesito decirle, ya leíste, yo sé que todo el tiempo está leyendo. It's about setting goals and achieving them. Right now it's about reading, later on it will be, you know, career or getting into college. So imagine a world where literacy is removing barriers for children so that they all can become contributing members of society. And imagine a world where kids who've been plagued by intergenerational cycles of poverty are finally able to break out of poverty by developing those literacy skills that are foundational early on in life. And what Book Trust does is begin to address that need through access to books that kids choose on their own. As a teacher, all you're looking for is to make sure that they're ready to move on. Where in past years, you struggle to let the kids go because they're not ready to leave yet. And these kids are truly ready to go on. Si seguimos por el, por el camino hasta donde ahorita vamos, yo creo que va a ser alguien de bien. It's one of the most powerful experiences I've had as an educator over the course of my career, um, knowing that something as simple as books and putting them in the hands of kids really has the potential to change the trajectory of their lives.